Hello my friends and welcome to Flying Circus Models. This is the second part of my current project AEG G4 from Winnet Wings, the painting. The cockpit parts were glued together. All pins from the left side match small holes on the right side perfectly and I didn't have any issues there. Here's one more close look on the cockpit details and the instrument panel. When both uh, cockpit sides uh, were glued together, I added a rigging in the front part using my regular technique with uh, easy line wire and small copper tubes. Also, I added the second compass and I put decals on both compasses facing the same direction uh, because it would be weird if two compasses on the same play would show the different directions, right? The fuselage sides were painted from the inside, front and middle sections with uh, RLM02 and the tail part with Vallejo Biash color as a base for wood and as a linen. For the actual wood painting, I used oil paint, uh, raw sienna, and dry flat brush. Once oil dried, uh, usually uh, it takes a couple of days, uh, the tail section was covered with the layer of feature. The next step was to make uh, a rigging on the visible parts of the tail section. Same usual technique with easy line thread and small copper tubes. The final look on the cockpit before it will be placed into the fuselage and uh, I hoped that compass and front rigging will be noticeable but it looks like it won't but we know it's there, right?
Well, both fuselage halves uh, were glued together as well as the top fuselage part. The stitching part was attached to the bottom of the fuselage as well and uh, next uh, will be the most unpleasant process for me, sanding. I used a 600 grit sandpaper first and uh, 800 after. After all prep work was done, I masked and closed uh, cockpit and uh, cleaned all parts uh, with isopropyl alcohol. This will help to remove all grease uh, that may be left from my fingers and uh, in this case the painting process will be much easier. Then, all model was covered with Mr. Surfacer 1000 primer.
When primer dried, I painted all bottom sides with Mr. Color uh, RLM76 light blue color. Because the model is big, I'm uh, not going to show you the painting process uh, on each part, so I will show you only on some details in order to save time, but this process is applicable for all parts. The bottom side of the plane has a very interesting painting. Uh, it was made for the night missions. I thought a lot about the technique that I can use to copy that. My first idea was to use one of the photo H stencils, uh, but I didn't like it. The second idea was to paint with airbrush and freehand, but I realized it won't work either. So I decided to use a kitchen sponge and uh, just a black paint. So I put sponge uh, to the paint and just with a very light and gentle press moves, uh, painted all bottom sides of the model. In my opinion, it looks pretty accurate and very realistic. The upper sides uh, have three color camouflage, so I will use Tamiya XF71, AK German World War I mauve paint, and Mr. Color 129 dark green. Firstly, I painted uh, one small uh, circle with XF71 and uh, realized that it's too dark and uh, that's why I changed it to Aquas number 50 Lime Green from Mr. Hobby. This paint looks much better and I painted circles, lines, dots uh, in uh, places based on the color scheme. Then I started to cut masks uh, using Tamiya masking tape and uh, to be honest I tried to repeat the pattern from the color scheme 
but after a couple of attempts uh, I realized that it's nearly impossible to do it with my tools. So I decided to make random shape uh, masks and apply them on the painted areas. Once the lime green areas were masked, I painted other areas with mauve color. And while I'm painting, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, dark green looked way too dark uh, for me, so I decided to use hobby color number 340, uh, field green, with just three drops of white. And again, I had to mask all my uh, painted areas prior field green painting.
here you can see all other painted parts. And the most enjoyable moment, mask removals, to see the actual result of all that hard work. Even though my paint job doesn't match uh, the color scheme uh, on the instruction, I really like the result. I had a very few areas uh, with overspray, such small that if you don't know about it, you will not notice. And uh, of course I will uh, have to use some more filters, um, because right now the paint looks uh, too bright and not realistic, but this will be in the next episode. For now, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press like button and leave your comments below. I read and reply to all of them. Also, if you would like to support my channel, you can do it on Patreon, where you can see my videos early. Also, I share some interesting pictures there. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episodes.